Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will look at a plant of perfume, the honeysuckle or the madhumati as it is called in India. As the name suggests, the flowers are rich in nectar. The flowers are fragrant and smells more or less like the jasmine. This is a whining plant that is a native of the Americas and Eurasia. The Japonica variety is largely found in Asia and most probably this is the Japonica type which is an invasive species if you are from the Americas. The leaves are placed opposite to each other and the flowers are tubular with colours that change as they grow older. They come in different shades of pinks, reds, yellows and orange. So this plant started off with a creamy yellow colour and then turned to a somewhat orange colour. This is a favourite of the hummingbirds and other common pollinators. This is grown on a trellis or a support for maximum effect. Some varieties are deciduous which means that they shed their leaves during winter and some evergreen which means that the leaves will be green throughout the year. Now they say that you get berries out of this but I need to wait it out and see if this one gives me berries. In this episode let us look at some care tips and some repotting. I have directly gone for a bigger container here because I know this is a vigorous plant and will grow really fast. So as usual, add a broken pot piece with its concave portion facing the drainage hole. This is to prevent the soil from running out. Now for the potting mix, I'm adding some good old red soil, some compost and some sand of equal proportion. The soil has been added because this can take a little more clay soil than most of your other plants. Now remove the plant from the grow bag and tease the roots if it is pot bound. Add the plant in the container and backfill. Make sure you don't add the plant too deep in the container. Always maintain the old soil level. Now I'm mulching this with some extra compost and watering it thoroughly. As much as you can, do most of your repotting during the evening hours so that the afternoon hot sun will not stress out your plant and then keep the plant in a sunny position. Now the other important thing is to give it a solid support like a trellis. So you can make your own plant guards by using some strong twigs like this and some twine thread or even a cable wire that is no longer in use. Just add the twigs in all directions and then encircle it with these cable wires and fasten it with something like this jute thread. This will help the plant grow faster than it would otherwise. And here is the living proof of this. In less than two months, you can see how this plant has grown and has even started seeking better pastures. If you can grow this plant in the ground, then nothing like it. It will grow really well and will bloom even more. Now for that extra bit of care tips, give this plant full sun and nothing less to increase its blooming. This is water hungry and must be given water every day. You can fertilize this plant with compost twice a month, especially during the summer months. I don't see too many pests on this plant, so you don't have to worry about it too much. The support and the potting mix is important and follow the steps as mentioned earlier. So what are you waiting for? Bring this plant home and enjoy the subtle fragrance of this nectar-rich, flowery goodness. So with this, we have come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and I really hope you've enjoyed this program. You can follow me on Instagram and the link will be given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.